I'm not quite ready yet, but I just looked in chat and someone said, Wait, who's the father? We're off to a great start already. Just give me a second to grab my water. Hello! Yes! I'm unmuted. Okay, good. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. As you can tell already, my voice is even further gone than it was the first time I streamed and the second time. It's getting pretty rough out here. Candy Murder House, thank you for the eight months. I would be the father, genius! Sorry, that just really... I just saw it in chat. I'm like, uh, I would be the father. 28 months. Wowie. Jack, just how do you do it? How are you so cool and also slay? I mean, look, it's a lot of effort, really, friend. It's a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Seventeen months. You look Love so you done, so MCC dead. Big man. I look dead. It has been a long trip, and I don't think I've slept. Even, even including the day I slept through MCC, where many people joked, "Oh, you probably slept so well." It was awful sleep. I don't think I've slept more than like three hours, four hours a night. It's been awful. Uh, I'm. The fuck was that? All right. I'm I'm hallucinating things. This is the thing. I'm I'm just so tired. But anyway. Chat. It was a big day for me yesterday. A big big day. Everyone's in chat saying explain. Look. Who's the mom? There isn't one. Let me explain. You see, people, yesterday, I, uh, I, obviously, I'm in Las Vegas, as you all know. Now, let me, let me switch to some slightly better music for this. So, yesterday, I'm in Las Vegas, as you all know, uh, and the festival, during, whilst TwitchCon has also been going off, the festival, when we were young, has also been happening. So, I, uh, obviously... Now, I'm not hugely into the sort of, I guess, emo sort of scene of music. However, obviously, Michael, Michael Clifford, Five Seconds of Summer, and I, we're friends. I didn't know he was going to be in Vegas. He didn't know I was going to be in Vegas. Uh, but when we figured out we were both in Vegas, he was like, you should come to the festival. And I said, yes, Michael, I'll be there. So, I, and I'll get into why this is. Fucking rolled out of bed on Sunday morning and immediately went to the thing because I almost slept. Can you believe I almost slept through another thing? I almost slept through the five sauce thing. So I went. I I, I went. I I bought. Um, now you guys probably. I don't know if you've seen this, but I've been keeping a secret from you because I I I I, I did know that this was going to happen. My dear dear friends, Callum CPK, and. His now wife, Mitch, got married. Uh, and I wanted... They got actually married, by the way. I think a lot of people in their Instagram comments was like, is this real? Yeah, they just they just kind of like a week ago decided, eh, should we get married? And they then, uh, and then you know, I, I think this is what a proposal is anyway. But they went, shall we get married? And one of them went, yes. So, so they got married. Uh, and I, I, sadly, like the most disappointing part of my trip... I could not go to the wedding because they, they picked right in the middle of my meet and greet to go get married. And now maybe I would have had some pull to, to reorganize it. Uh, say I hadn't slept through the only other thing I was supposed to do at TwitchCon. But I slept through the only other thing I was supposed to do at TwitchCon. So didn't have much say, really. Kind of lost my weight around here, you know. Um, so they went and got married. Uh, but I had to miss it. But I went and hung out with them afterwards and all this. Why is everyone saying Godfather? What? You're a Godfather? Of, of who? What, of, of Michael's child? We're not, we're not like best men. I assume he will pick someone he's probably closer with to be the, the Godfather of his child. That... 
I I'm going to assume it won't be. They're trying to rationalize your joke title. His child isn't even birthed. Please, stop trying to guess. I'm telling the story. It's a journey. Come with me on it. Christ. So, I I'm getting to meeting my son, all right? Would I be a godfather to CPK's child? I'm no one, I'm not going to be a godfather to anyone's kids. As of right now, not that I know of. Right, anyway, we're talking about my child. So. So. Goodness. So. I met when we were young. Right. And I, I took Callum CPK and Mitch. And Callum CPK happens, not, not that I knew this, to also know one of the members of the bands that was playing. He's friends with uh, Jeff from Waterparks, the guitarist. Now, I uh, wasn't, to my knowledge, familiar. I didn't think I knew of Waterparks at this, the point that Callum told me. Uh, but we eventually, because we were still at the festival, we decided we were just going to watch Five Sauce, but then we decided we were going to stick around. So we, uh, we went and, um, you know, we were like, we were just, you know, we were watching the bands. And then we go and we meet Jeff from Waterparks. And I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Jack. You know, it's fine. And then all of a sudden we're stood watching some band. I don't remember who it was. And I look to my, to my right and I see this guy. And I'm like, I can't quite think who that guy is. But he looks mighty familiar. So uh, anyway, I, I I just sit, right? I just I just you know I don't uh, I I'm like I don't think anything of it, right? But I'm like I I know I recognise this guy. Give it a few minutes. I like nudge Mitch Callum's now wife. It's very fun to say wife. I've realised he's loving it. I'm having just as much fun. I I, I like go on. Oh yeah, his wife or her husband. It's great. It's very fun. But anyway, his now wife. I give her a nudge and I'm like, do you know who this guy is? Because like, I, I know I, he looks so familiar. Uh, and she was like, no. And then eventually my brain kicks in and I can't put a name or like, uh, uh, you know, who he is or anything to it. But I just know that because I see his face, I'm like, oh my God, I, people have been tweeting this, a picture of this guy at me for fucking years and being like, you look like you look the same. And I was like, but I, 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 I was like, I couldn't think what he was called. I didn't, you know, but we stood near him and I'm like, I wanted to go over and be like, hey, really weird, like out of the blue thing. I, I've, people say I look like you. I don't think, we, and I, I don't think we look alike or I, I didn't at this point. And I was like, but you know, what tweet? Like there's so many, t let me find it. Um, Twitter. All right, I can just type x.com now, and as much as I hate the name, that is convenient. Um, just if you, actually, I probably won't be able to find many of the old tweets now, because now every, there'll be new tweets. Yeah, th these are all tweets from, like, now. That's so annoying. Wait, so, eventually when I figured it out, I, I looked it up, and there were just so many tweets from, like, from, like, 2021 onwards, just comparing us, right? Like, and I was like, oh, okay. So then, you know, I kind of keep looking at this guy in a possibly slightly weird way now I think about it. But I was just really determined to try and remember who he was. So I could, you know, remember either his name or... Because what if he was just a dude? That was my worry. Like, he's just some guy at a concert. And it isn't the guy that's been tweeted at me. And I'm just having, like, an insane moment. That was my worry. I wanted to try and find one of the tweets, but I couldn't do it. And then anyway... Jeff, my, uh, you know, new friend Jeff, who I haven't known for very long at this point. At some point while we're listening to the music, because we stood really close to this guy, but I figured it was a big just standing area. I figured it was just coincidence that we stood near him. And then all of a sudden, Jeff runs over and like shakes him for, like during a hype bit of one of the songs. And I'm like, oh, they know each other. Right. But I don't think, oh, they're in a band together. I just think they know each other, right? So then, I like nudge Jeff, and I'm like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? I, I swear I've had pictures of him tweet tweeted at me before. 
And he's like, oh, yeah, we're in the same band. I was like, oh, I've just been like really awkward for the past like 10 minutes. And I could have just probably went over because I, I didn't realize he was kind of stood with our group. So anyway, at that point, I then introduced myself and we get the funny picture. Um, and I, I will show you this picture because I'm genuinely convinced. Like me and him, I didn't think we looked alike. And then we took the selfie and everyone went, oh my God. And I was like, what? And then it was apparently when we smile, we look very alike. But like, when I show you a picture of me and this man, this is why, this is why I call him my son. He looks exactly, like exactly, like if you were to, if me and Quackity were to have a child. Like, he look, he got more on my jeans, but he's got, like he looks so much like a perfect blend of me and Quackity. So I've dubbed him our son. We got clickbaited. If you read that title and genuinely, genuinely thought somehow I managed to, over the, the, the what, month I'd been away, get my girlfriend who isn't with me pregnant, we'd sped run the pregnancy and managed to have a child who I then have finally met. You are, you are mental. You, you are, I don't, can't believe, let me show you me and Quackity's son, all right? Because I'm just saying, the resemblance is un, uncanny. Look at that. It's just my face, but with the quackity hair and beanie, which is part of his genetics, I can only assume. I've never seen him without it. I, like, it, it, it's so uncanny. The, the smile and... It, 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 it was... It's weird. Like, it, it is a bit weird. I didn't really realize you could look so much like another human being. Um, but yeah, um, either way, we did that picture and then, uh, those guys went to perform. Like we met them before their gig. They went off to perform. We went and watched them. Very fucking good, by the way. Really good live. I, I, I wasn't like, the fucking good, you know, water parks. If you ever get the chance to see water parks live, go do it. Um, Austin, their, their lead singer is, it, lead singer, as if there's another singer. I don't think any of them... He's just the singer. Either way, um, real fucking charismatic. Like on stage, real good stage presence, very funny. I had a great time. But um, either way, I, we went and watched them play, great. And then afterwards, it was like a big festival. Green Day were the last act. We, uh, we, we met back up with them to watch Green Day. But um, I hadn't met Austin yet. He, he, I don't know where he was earlier, but he wasn't there. And then he came out. Uh, and I swear to you, I s you got to tell Quackity about this. I told him last night, and he also thinks it's, it's strange. Um, but um, he also thought... Uh, no, no, sorry. Austin, right? I shit you not. The first time I meet him, right? He barely even gets out a hello. He walks over, and I go to say hi, and he goes, Shit, you do look like Otto. <laughs> I made him sound like Steve-O. My voice is fucked. But I, I mean, in his, his voice, not mine, he it, it, like just it just can't even muster a hello before it, the, the realization hits him. Um, but they were fucking lovely, really, really lovely boys. Um, no, that was a solid impression. Okay, never mind. Maybe we did it all right. Um, he's been denied for years. Well, I've always denied it. I mean, even when I met Otto, I was like, I don't think we do, but like people say it. And then we took the smiling picture, and I looked at it. I, I, we were, li I was literally. We, we hadn't looked at it yet, and I was like, no, nah, I still don't, and then we pulled up the picture and went, oh, no, or, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, it was very, very fun. Um, very, very fun day. The festival was amazing, by the way. I got to see so many people I would never, I, I heard that fucking, I, I'm not very, like, I don't know many of the bands, I'm not going to pretend like I don't. I do, even. But uh, that fucking, like, that song is like, I got your picture, I'm coming with you, dear Maria, count me in. That shit. Um, that got played live, and I was like, this feels pretty iconic to see live. That was pretty cool. Um, so that was real fun. All time low, yes. Uh, I also, um, you know how Jared Leto is in a band? 
that was real weird. There was just like a point where like, you're like, what, listen to all these musicians and then fucking Morbius walks out on stage. I, I, I realize he came from the band first, but in my head, he's just the Joker slash Morbius. Um, so that was, I was like, oh shit, it's Morbin time. Um, so that was real funny. Um, did you know about Simon Colby's new vid? I know about it. I haven't seen it yet though, but I really want to watch it. Um, Joe Letter was a scary man. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. He's also an actual cult leader. I, I, I'm aware, trust me. Um, but it, <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone put, tried to put it's morning time in the chat and it auto corrected to it's morning time. And I'm like, nah, it's just the afternoon. But that was very funny. Um, but yeah, I tell you what guys, TwitchCon may officially be over. I may have never went to the convention floor once, but I, I tell you what, it was great. Oh, and I have all my meet and greet box. I, li I like showing these off. This hotel took such a large deposit. Deposit. It was the one thing that I didn't like. The deposit was so fucking big, but you get it back as long as you don't. You know, as long as you don't. There's no incidentals. I appear to have had an incident. Um, oh yeah, it smashed. Oh shit. There was a lamp. There was a lamp right here that I uh, appear to have firmly elbowed. Uh, and definitely heard shatter. Um, I mean, look. Guys! Let's turn those alerts back on. Uh, guys, subs are 4 99 Primes are free. You get to skip all the ads. Speaking of which, how about we do a top of the uh, minute ad today? We'll just do an ad every minute. How does uh, that sound? Um, yeah. A Y O O O O O O. I might be able to. I, I honestly probably am better off buying a new. I think only the bulb smashed. I think if I go to like a Home Depot and buy a bulb, uh, I could probably get away with not paying the incidental. And it'll be. Okay, Jack, so you met Otto, but did you meet Austin? Yes. Let me go pick up the glass. There's actually glass on the fucking floor now. Uh, what is it? Crocs. Let me, let me put on. You are looking snazzy in this got, lighting uh, king. Also, four months sub R A A A A H H H H H H. Um. Oh. I Hello, just bought manifold. my first ever pair of Crocs the other day, and now I feel like an idiot. Uh, but I suppose now I've got two colours. I've got a uh, spaceman and these. All right. Hang on. Let me let me go pick up the wax and shit. Mother manifold will be real in five seconds. Oh wait. One year. Hi Jack. Hope Vegas has oh, been treating you oh, well. It's so over for me. It's so over for me. I get charged out the arse. Wow, 30 months. The Jack grind never stops manifold pog. Twenty-two months, I can't believe, and in a few days, twenty-three exploding head. Oh dear, chat. It's a lot worse than we expected down here. Looking mighty fine, there, bald man. Take my prime sub. What's happening? Yeah, too hot. Um. Well, hello, Jack. Hope you are doing well, manifold shiggle. Hold on. Um.
Okay, update on the whole situation. Um. <coughs> Jack Manifold. We're gonna need a few more subscribers. Easy V I E Evan is back on the grind. I'm glad you're back on the grind. I really, really, I'm, I'm really, really glad. So, it, it. So the lamp actually didn't smash, which sounds like good news. But it appears in knocking the uh, the lamp over that in fact um, the 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 desk which is made of glass or it's got a glass panel on uh that smashed which is significantly worse because that's a whole panel of glass that needs to be replaced and that's probably quite expensive so guys this trip uh well it's it's definitely got Guys, it hasn't ended up to. I'm not in. A, I'm not in the best place right now. Um, smashing up hotel rooms now, huh? Look, I didn't mean to. I just knocked over a lamp. Got. Oh, this is gonna. That's gonna be so expensive. You know, this whole trip. You know, I had to rebook my flights like two times. I had to book an extra night in the hotel. Like all in all, I am like this. The, the, the trip has already cost me hundreds, if not thousands, more than it should have done. But then I thought it's okay, guys. We get there's prize money attached to MCC. Even going in last place, you get twelve hundred dollars. And then uh, I proceeded to not show up to MCC. So I also had the most expensive nap I've ever had. Uh, and now I've, I've buggered up a table. Um, so it's not looking good for me financially at the moment. So again, guys, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 500 bits, Candy Murder House. Don't Is go it? spending it all on snacks, Jay. I won't be. I'll be spending it on this bill. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry now. There's a good cause to send it to. Cherry Shoots, thank you for the uh, three months. 23 so months, piece, OMG. You were 23 months. I think I can see more glass on the floor. Let me go get more. Oh, fuck! This is so... Yippee. Okay, Two months I through. I think that is all the glass. I'm so worried about being barefoot here now. What was your favorite song on Waterpark set? Hello. Who do you think will win at pool, me or my friend Russ? I will gift a sub if you choose me, and it's definitely not bribery. What broke? Okay, well, I think that's all of it. Um, are you guys all doing Oh No Our Table? Is that what you're doing? Really? Seriously? Right now? You're, you're mocking me? In, in, in my most desperate hour? Yeah, we're probably gonna need like a subathon or, or fuck. AYOO four months. Hope TwitchCon Kick was it. fun and all is good. Thank you for the Have five a great rest subs. of our day, Mr. Manifold. Thank D, you very less much. Less than 3-3. I mean, TwitchCon was great. I mean, look. 
everything's not as good as it was a minute ago. One pound ago. equals one prayer for Jack's deposit. <sighs> Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, you, guys, you know if everyone here donated uh, a pound, we'd probably be able to cover the uh, cost of the table. Just an idea, just a thought. Wow, you know? you're so done. Welcome to Broke Land, in two ways. Mate, I'm, I'm livid. I'm actually livid. Really glad I didn't get on the gambling the this Jack trip. Assisting the Jack Manifold Accident Fund. Because that, 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 this way, th this is all the money I could have lost gambling. But instead I've lost it on noble things like breaking shit. Nah, bro, he's a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. I, I, I assure you. I don't even know what I was going to talk about now. It's completely derailed my idea for the stream. It's just derailed me. It's, it's ruined my mood. I've remembered what I was going to do. Guys, don't worry, I'm back on track. Good luck with the glass, my boy. I'm back on track, everybody. Ask Tommy for money. He is the teenage billionaire. My that contribution is true. to the table fund. Thank you. Ooh, secret bottle of Fiji. Isn't that nice? I can add this to my bottles of Fiji collection. There's only Fiji here. No one sells any other water, which is not fine. Actually, it's very expensive. Um, I'd rather have cheaper water. In here, in this here box. I have all the gifts. Have a pound to help pay for the glass. Thank you very also, much, Pebbles. Also, have you met Crystal? I've never met Crystal. She's she's not here. I've I, I've spoken to Crystal. Crystal is the one who organised my tickets and everything, which I really appreciate. Uh, especially because she's like two weeks off of giving birth, so very cool that she did that, and I'm greatly greatly appreciative. Uh, but I've never met her. Never met her. Sell the Fiji on eBay. Yeah, maybe we, I think we need to at this point to make the money back. I couldn't back. complete the quest you gave me. Couldn't bring the pen back to that girl. So sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she won't miss her pen too much. You keep it and hope one day you cross paths again. I gave so someone, someone left a pen at my meet and greet. Um, actually, the uh, for those of you who are familiar, the, you know the girl who does uh, the manifold theory? I believe her name's Erin, but I'm terrible with names, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Hope this helps. Thank you for the $10, Dick Balson. That actually scared the fuck out of me. I don't know why. That usually doesn't scare me. That actually scared the fucking life out of me. I'm so tired. That was... I, that... 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 That scared the life out of me. Fuck me. Anyway. The person that made the manifold theory, they uh, came to the meet and greet... Uh, and they had a new theory or a new Sorry proposal. Sorry about the table, Jack. Folded hands. It's okay, Wind Yay. Thank you for the hundred bits. But yeah, they um they showed up and showed me uh, a book demonstrating why I should be in Vogue. I don't remember many of them. I remember the last slide was a picture of me with a fat ass. It said cake. Um, but it was just a lot of different reasons that I should kick it. Thank you for two gifted subs. I thought it said twenty then. I misread it. That's twenty total. Makes more sense. Dick Borson. Thank you as well. But they, uh, they delivered the Manifold Theory to me. I read it. I was very impressed. I think they they also uh, showed it off to Germa. Um, also, the lady that told me off didn't come to the meet and greet, which was nice. Uh, I expected to see her there waiting to tell me off again. Um, Germa signed that cake photo of you. That's pretty cool. It was really weird. I, I, I was um, speaking to... I, I hadn't met Germa until this trip. Um, uh, but I, I met him... Two nights ago, for the first time, and then we were hanging out last night. Uh, and like one of the first things he told me about, he was like, he's like, somebody had a, a, a book with with, with a, a, a bunch of pictures of you doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Germa is. Um, that's my Germa. That's my Germa. So, so, someone had a book. It's my Germa. Uh, he came over. He's like, oh, so, so, someone had a, a book with, with pictures of you. Um, and um, you know. Uh, so, he, he seemed, it seemed to stick with him, is what I mean. I think it seemed to stick with him. Also, very nice to meet German. I actually, sounds Irish. Two goats meeting at last. 
Hey, we are the goats of looking peculiar in images. I, I will say that. So yeah, very, very, um, very, very cool to, uh, to have met them. Uh, to met him, sorry. My brain is shutting down. I'm very tired. Uh, you look aged. I feel aged. I feel this trip has aged me. You know what it is? Las Vegas is the city of going outside till very, very late in the morning. And then last night was my earliest night yet. I came back at 3 a.m., could you believe? And I then proceeded to call my dad, because in the UK, that's like afternoon. I thought, I'll call my dad. I'll see how my dad's doing. Called my dad, and then stayed on the phone with my dad for three whole hours. Didn't realize and didn't go to bed till, I think, seven in the end. No, eight. It was, it, it was eight before I went to sleep. I remember, I distinctly remember it, it hitting eight o'clock in the morning. And I was supposed to, I was home at three. I, I felt so stupid. I've never spoke to my parents for three hours. I love my dad. He's the goat. Anyway, um, let me go through with you what I got from TwitchCon. Uh, someone made me this cro crocheted little flower with what feels like a straw in the middle. Very cool. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I also got... Um, <laughs> the, the person who gave me this then apologized for doing it. Can you believe? They apologized immediately because they knew how, how terrible of a joke it was. But it's well drawn. It is kind of funny. They simply drew Kirby with Jack Manifold 3D glasses. Yeah, I'll just show you. Did, did you get a whopper, Kirby? Did you get a whopper? I probably sounded pretty accurate because this is the did you get a whopper mic. Do you know that? The, the, I, I, I've swapped my mic, but I kept it, and I, I took it with me to travel. This is the did you, This is the original Did You Get A Whopper mic. Can you believe? So, um, there you are. Never sell that mic. I might have to, because of the table, you know? I don't have much choice on account of the whole breaking shit thing. Um, I got, someone just, uh, it, it was a rock, and it said, you rock. Thanks for that. Um, the American Heart Association, who I feared I'd forgotten to do something for, um, because we, I have some plans with them, but I hadn't forgotten. Uh, they just came to give me some stickers. Thank you, the American Heart Association. Very cool. Um, someone made, this is, it's an old meme. It's like an old but gold sort of thing. Um, someone made the, uh, you know, remember the, the Jack Manny fall meme? I can't do the voice right now. My, my throat hurts way too much. Uh, but you remember that meme with, with Fundy? Uh, he pushes me off the bridge and shit. Someone uh, made a comic. Someone made a comic of... <laughs> Someone made a comic of that meme, which was quite cool. The sort of Jack Manny fall, Jack Manny buy, Jack Manny drown. And then, I, and then my head snaps around. Yeah, I mean, classic. Classic meme. You've all seen it. Um, someone drew me a few times, once as a Scrinkly Scrumpus, and once as a Queen. Uh, I'll show you that. There's the, uh, there's the Scrinkly Scrumpus, and then that's me as a Queen. I think it's just me in a wig with a crown, but fair enough. I feel like I am more Queen-like that way. Um, what's this? Oh, someone did a little watercolor of me, which is just actually really, just quite cool. I like that I'm really, I'm like stanced up. I'm quite a broad lad here. I'm not that big in real life. So I appreciate, I feel flattered, really. I really do. Um, so, someone just gave me uh, an Among Us sticker that says, trust no one. <laughs> Which I was like, thank you. But I guess I won't be trusting people anymore. So apologies, you guys. Can't help it was told, uh, let me have some water because my voice really hurts actually. I didn't realize how bad it was. Last night was the only night I didn't do karaoke the whole trip as well. Can you believe it? I've done karaoke every night, somehow. Oh, there's a mint in here. I stole a mint from a car and I completely forgot. Um, oh, someone got me a badge uh, that says uh, pee pee poo poo. They made it themselves, they're one of the artists. You could buy these, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but there you are. Let me turn these back on. 
cheese nuggets. Thank you for the I don't bits. know how to donate. I think this is close enough. You, you, you have done it. Do not fret, my friend. You, you've pulled it off. Exclamation point donate in the chat, though. A future reference. Um, oh, someone... Um, that scared me. Didn't expect that. No, me neither. That was the scream. We're a little bit delayed here because I paused them for a second. After the scream. The scream scared me too much. Um, oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Uh, I think after stream, I'm genuinely going to go back to bed for a little bit. Um, someone, clearly the thing they do... Hello, you missed my last dono, oh, but sorry. my question was, who do you think will win at pool, me or my friend Russ? I will donate a sub if you choose me, and no, it's not bribery. I really need that money right now, but someone called Russ Happy is 16 months. The, clearly the goat I got a new pool. job today. I missed your streams. Jack got that cake. And the mana bread manifold 07. <laughs> Happy 16 months. I hope you enjoy the job. Congrats on that. Um, I'm sorry, what but What was if... your favorite thing about the water park set? Uh, honestly, just Austin kept fucking... Like, he just in between songs, someone in the crowd would hold something up and be like... I don't know. He just, it was just really... Someone asked him something about uh, park sauce. And he just called them chronically online. And I was like, that's funny. That's a funny guy. And then, you know, it, it was amusing. Uh, anyway. Um, well, also, my other favorite part is that because he's got the red hair, he also was wearing red makeup. He's like a beacon. If I ever lost him in a crowd, I'd just look for it. He's quite, he's, he's rel I think he was relatively tall. In my head, he's relatively tall, but I might be stupid. Um, and he was uh, taller than me. Doesn't take much. Um, and he just had this bright red head that I just kind of find. It was great. Um... It's like being with Schlatt in Japan. He's just, so, he, he is a big guy. Uh, and people in Japan generally aren't. So he just kind of really, you can find him anyway. He was towering above everyone. Um, but anyway, this is a Christmas ornament that someone made for me. Because uh, that's what they do. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, they got me like a, a TwitchCon Las Vegas and they put my name on the back. And it's like a Christmas tree ornament. Which I thought was really cool and really well made actually. So thank you for that. Um... Uh, oh, this is cool. I think this is really, really well drawn. I really like this art style. Like, a lot. I'm glad they put their name at the bottom, because I, I could see myself commissioning this person. Um, if they do them. I don't know. Um, that someone made this. Your mother's favorite streamer. Which I think is sick. I love that. The art style's so cool. That's really, really cool. I'm so annoyed, by the way, I bought, I'm, I, I will have to do this at my next meet and greet, because I, I was supposed to do it this time around, but I, 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 I was almost late to my meet and greet and I had to rush out of here and I, I forgot a bunch of stuff, but um, I bought to give to you guys, like, I think I may have mentioned I was going to do this on stream, um, I bought, I've only got one pair in my hand here, but trust me, I have like, hundreds, I bought hundreds of 3D glasses that I was going to sign and give to people as they came to the meet and greet. Um, and so they could have them. And I, I, I was in such a rush. Because I, I, I got told I was supposed to be at my meet and greet half an hour later than I was actually supposed to be. Uh, so I just rushed out of here and I completely forgot them. And I'm very, very annoyed about it. Um, I even remember thinking, oh, don't forget those, as I was leaving. And I did. So that's really annoying. But next meet and greet, I do. I was gonna, and then when I was gonna do the IRL stream around the floor, I was gonna be handing them out there, but then I, the modems didn't work, and I, I, you, I don't know if you guys saw all the pictures that I, I think, Fool, I remember Foolish posted one, of like that fucking pool on that balcony, I think Fit posted it as well, all the QSMP guys, uh, they had like a little party, and there was a pool on a balcony, and they had the idea to stay there until sunrise, which I'd already been to, there was a Razor party one of the nights. I'd already been there and I'd left to go to the, the thing. Um, and they were like, we're gonna stay here till sunrise. I was already a little bit drunk. I was like, I'll stay till sunrise. So um, I, I, I did wake up later than I wanted to to do the IRL stream as well. Um, I had a great time and I apologize to you, but I don't apologize to me because I had a great time uh, in the pool. Um, I, I, I was very eager to get in that pool. I've been wanting to swim the whole trip. Do um, you know when your next meet and greet might be? Yes. But I can't say. 
But I know. I know when it will next be. It's not an official meet and greet, but the next time I'll be meeting people. I, yes, I know. Um, when you go back to the UK, you're going to play Spider-Man 2. I don't own a PlayStation 5. I'd have to get a whole PlayStation 5. But I guess if I got a PlayStation 5, I could then play all the other games too. I might want a PlayStation 5. I, I, I'll consider getting a PlayStation 5. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I had a very, very good... It's been a great TwitchCon. I feel like I, I just... I've really... Um, I got to see everyone I wanted to see. You know? Like, you, I feel like usually... Oh no, I haven't yet. There's one... I, I, I want to hang out with the boys from the group. You know, the group chat boys. Tana, Soft Willy. I mean, Big T. Um... You know, um, I want I want to hang out with all those guys, um, but I haven't seen them yet. I keep. Oh, you know what? I, I I'm so upset. I wanted to hang out with Astral Spiff, you know the FNAF speedrun guy, and we didn't. We were supposed to hang yesterday, and we didn't get chance. I'm very annoyed. Um, but yeah. PS5, you're broke. Remember? Oh, true. Yeah, actually, forgot about that. I, I, I have forgotten about that. Do you ever try Mogu Mogu? I haven't. I actually haven't. Which is a shame. Oh my god! I Wait, I've still got one more gift from, from the, the thing to show you. Got one more gift. And this... Oh no, no I haven't. I've got a few more actually. I forgot. I've got a few more. I put them all here. Someone from Australia uh, gave me this, which I really appreciate. Because uh, I was going to go to Australia this March, but I'm not going anymore. So the fact that I've got a little souvenir is cool. Uh, one of those like little, like, they hug pens. I'm going to put my finger in as an example. But like you can put them on a pen and they like, hold on, which is very cool. Um, someone also made me... Uh, no, isn't it? Someone also, they... I'm not a big, big spiritual guy, but I kind of like when people indulge me in, in their spiritual sort of practices. They, they bought me a bunch of, of, of uh, crystals and, and stones. They just had a big bag of crystals and stones. And they pour them out into your hand and they're like, take whichever one calls to you. And I thought, hmm, I like this a lot. So uh, this one called to me. Maybe because it was the biggest one in the bag is, is my thinking. Uh, but whatever this is, it called to me. So now it's mine. Um, so that was quite nice. I really appreciated that. Uh, then someone made me, um, someone made me a little pride flag. Well, they made me a few things. One of them was a pride flag. Uh, they made that. They also made my 3D glasses, um, which is also really cool. And then, and this was the gift I reacted to the heaviest. I, like, got really hype when they gave me this, right? I think more hype than they were expecting. I think they, they looked slightly frightened. They made me. I forget what this is. This thing is. It's the same stuff as. What, what are those called? What, what are these called? What, what is this called? I forget. Whatever it is, they made me another. Right? I'm gonna wait. It looks like Jasper. I think it is Jasper. I think they said it was Jasper. Yeah. Uh, hammer beads. Pearl beads. Whatever the beads are. They made me. Walter White Breaking Bad Pixel Art Beads. Yes! I got so hype. I got so hype about this. You have no idea how cool I thought this was. I got so, so hype. This is so cool. So cool. So, uh, yeah. I thought that was sick. So, uh, they got me that. I was really, really happy about it. Um, so, I've got that now. But my f my favorite gift I received, purely because this is because someone listened. I asked that if anyone could find this, that they bought it to me for the meet and greet. Um, right? And I didn't realize, I, I so didn't thank them enough, because I didn't realize what it was when they gave it me. I thought they'd just given me like a, a little pin, which was really sweet still. But... They actually gave me the exact thing I was asking for. So if anyone finds a Jack Manifold 3D glasses Crocs gibbet, I've never owned any. I've, I've ne I've, I used to have my... This is where I get into the stop story. When I was a kid, 
we couldn't afford Crocs, right? We had we had hot tuna knockoff Crocs growing up, right? I never had real Crocs. I always had knockoff Crocs. And I bought myself my first pair of real Crocs, which I now feel a bit mugged off about because uh, I got given free ones at TwitchCon. So now I, I feel like buying myself ones wasn't as, you know. Um, but I, I bought myself real Crocs, right? You know? And uh, I've, I've always wanted, I never, ever, ever had the gibbets because the holes were never the right size. And I was like, please, if someone can find me, right, the gibbets. And someone, I'm going to put this on my croc now. Probably going to shift it to my, someone managed to find me. The Jack Manifold 3D glasses crocs gibbet. I've always fucking wanted one. And here they are. The th I, 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 oh, this is the one thing. I never ask for gifts at meet and greets. I always will take them, but I never want to ask because like, that feels rude. But I was like, this year, if anyone finds this, please do bring me one. And they fucking did. Also, like, what's the chances that only one person did it? Like, you know, I don't know how many people were in that meet and greet. I never know. It's, it's always a few hundred, though. Right? Out of a few hundred people, right? Like, you know, like three people attended. <laughs> Fuck off. It's like that one picture I took at like VidCon. At, like after I'd cleared the line, to, the people next to me had just came in, so their lines were full. So it looked like it was the start. So I took a picture of my empty ass fucking line <laughs> next to these two full ones. It was like, great turnout this year. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I, I, like, I, I, I said it on stream a couple of times and it's crazy that like, it was either, I either figured no one would bring them or I'd accidentally caused a problem where I was going to get bought like a million fucking croc gibbets. I think it's so cool that uh, like, I got like what, like one person went, I'll cover that and no one else bothered. I think that's really cool that like we were that efficient. No waste. You know, we didn't end up getting an excess of them. Just, just one. I was there and there was three of us. Yeah, but I chatted to you all for like an hour each. It was a really long meet and greet. Ugh. Oh my God, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not eating this morning. Ugh. This is another got out of bed and went straight live. I'm on that tubbo life. I'm on that tubbo schedule. But the difference is I'm not waking up at 6 p.m. I'm, I'm waking up at like 11. I woke up at like 11 today. Um, you know. No one likes to get too close to you for a reason. The killer could get confused and get the wrong person. That does make sense. I'm really lucky the killer didn't come to my meet and greet, to be fair. Unless it was that lady. <laughs> that was what it was all about. That's why they're trying to kill me. Ugh. His sleep cycle is insane. Oh, yeah, no, Tubbo's sleep cycle is mental. Twitch security is too good. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe they did. They maybe they did stop the killer. That's really good, actually. That's really good of them. I I, I should come to more events just so the killer's apprehended and I'm safe more. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's any other stories. Twenty months from this I great, hope you great have a trip. brilliant stream. I I so far I'm having a great stream. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, why do I live in Poland and can't attend? I don't know, man. Probably that's where you were born or something. Are you going ghost hunting again? I wanted to go ghost hunting on this trip, and there's a chance that I do before I leave, but it's looking slim. We've been trying to organize it, and it's not looking too good. Um, but you never know. We might. If not, I will be doing another one soon. Don't worry. But, um, you know. You keep the killer at bay because you stinky silly. I smell amazing. At the meet and greet, actually, I distinctly remember someone going, you smell really nice, by the way, as they were leaving. And I thought, thank you very much, actually. That really meant a lot. I like to think I do smell nice. It, I, I, that, I appreciated that. I really did. They lied. No, they did not. 
I smell beautiful. I, you know. I, I, I made sure I showered before the meet and greet. That's why. I showered m mere minutes beforehand. You can watch the salmon, the salmon clobby vid. Uh, I, I might watch it on stream. How long is it? If it's really long, we might not be able to. But I did say I probably would react to it on stream if it's... Why is the... Oh, it's, oh, it's an hour long. Maybe we could watch that then. I'm, maybe I will then. I might watch the... Um, it won't be today, but we might do it on a different stream. Because it only came out yesterday. But um, I'm not going to do it today. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. Like, I just came on to talk a little bit. Because... I, I didn't stream at all during Japan, I just wanted to talk, and I, I got like TwitchCon stories and stuff, you know? And I, I like these just talk, chatting streams that I've got enough to, uh, to say. Um, but, um, yeah, we need content now, so yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I will, maybe I will watch the, um, yeah. Did you guys watch Name Your Price Live? I didn't! It, the theatre was so full, like, it was just so full. Um, also, I was live while it was happening, actually. I was streaming, I, I raided into it! Um, but... You know, it was cool. Any Japan stories? I've vlogged all over Japan. I, I tried to vlog Vegas, but um, I, I don't think I got enough. I got a lot of the festival, but it, it, all of it is playing copyrighted music, so. You know. What's the name of your price? Austin Show's thing, and it's very, very good. Post on TikTok? I actually should. You look bolder than usual? I actually look hairier than usual. I look more haired, so, uh, you know. But yeah, I'm really excited about the Japan stuff. I really want to go back as well. I almost... They, um... <laughs> I almost hopped on a trip. I saw two people make a bet. Like, if, if this... If, if, if you win... you ha oh, no, it was like, if I win, we have to go to Japan tomorrow. And I was like, if you guys do it, I'll come. I was that... I was that onto it. I was like, I want to go back. But, uh, no. Don't cheat on your barber. No, you know what? And I'm I, I'm a serial cheater on the barber. And I think he knows. I think I think he knows. He knows I travel a lot and he knows I'm busy. So if he's not working the day I need to get in or I'm not in the area, he knows I go and get it done elsewhere. I don't think he minds. I don't think he minds too much. But yeah, I am. Um, I, I I my last barber trip was actually it was a cheating one. I, I I went to the same barber shop, but I, he wasn't in, so I was like, "Well, I need my hair doing, so someone's got to do it." No, he's plotting his revenge as we speak. Maybe I will get a shit trim next time I go, but you know. Would you grow out your hair again? Absolutely not. I actually, someone made me bet on it. They made me, I, I did I, at TwitchCon. Someone at my meet and greet came with a bunch of cards, and it's like that. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna do like roulette, but with cards," and they fanned them out, and it's like. You pick a card and you got to say whether it's red or black. And if you're right, I have to shave my head. But if you're wrong, you have to grow out your hair. Now. I don't know if I've ever told you guys. I'm not a big gambler. But, like, roulette style games. Like, especially when the, the you know. You don't always have to be gambling for it to be a roulette style. You know where it's like 50-50, like red or black type sort of thing? I'm the goat of it. I'm the goat. I, ha I I just know. I just know. I don't know why. I just feel it in my soul. And I I took hold of that cart. I, I um I I basically I, I he went he willing to take that bet. And I was like, dude, what I pull is gonna be black. So I've got no worry in the world. And that was like a confident thing to say. You know, it's 50-50 chance. But I. I I I I I crisply took my two fingers and I pulled out the card. It was black. It was black. Because I knew. Because I knew. Because I knew. I actually... Because obviously there's been a little bit of gambling going on here. Not so much from me. But it, we're in Vegas in a casino. People have been gambling. And I walked up to one of my friends. And they, they at the roulette table, had had... They had all the numbers. You, you know how there's like... You, you can either bet on red or black or you can bet on the numbers. They bet on a, a bunch of different numbers. And I'd seen that they bet on 28. And I pointed at it, and I was like, that one's coming up. I'm like, if I had money, I would, that one's coming up. And they spin it. And I, I predicted not only the color, the number. 
the exact number. You know what the odds of doing that are? And like, what are those odds? What are the odds of a single number? What are single number odds in roulette? One in 38. One in 38, right? That a single number comes up. All right? I'm like, this one comes up. I don't, know, I don't know what it was. I just felt it. I was like, that's the one. It came up. Everyone at the table was very impressed. It was, it was very, I said it very confidently. Inside of you, there are two wolves. One of them has a gambling addiction. I don't gamble. I just, I don't know, man. Same like heads or tails. Someone gets you to flip a coin. I'm pretty. I don't have any coins. Oh, I do actually. I have some yen still. The only problem is I don't know which one's heads or tails of the yen. Oh, okay, I do. Right. I got 50 yen coin. Come on, show up. Come on. Come on. I got 50 yen coin. And it's gonna be heads. I am so serious, I just caught the lamp. I just caught it. It didn't go, it didn't go. I actually promise you it didn't go, but I had to catch it. We're gonna back off and flip the coin again. It did land on heads, by the way. It's on the table and it's on heads. I just wanna tell you that I'm the goat. Let me just uh, put the lampshade back on. Fucking hell, I'm actually a liability. Oh, because the shade isn't on properly. That doesn't help. I'll, I'll sort it properly in a minute. It did land on heads, by the way. Let me, uh, so I will even, to prove it, I'll pan the camera down. See that right there? Heads. Oh. Oh, by the way, I've decided I, the, the 50s heads and this is tails. I don't know whether that's correct by the standards, but that's because there's no heads on these coins. Um, so that's what I decided. The, the side with the number is, is, is the, uh, the head. I've decided. And I'm going to do it again just to prove my point. And this time... I think it's tails. Oh, he was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. Should have went with my gut. I felt my initial thinking was was heads. Should have went with the gut. It's been heads three times in a row. That's actually pretty. Statistically, it's pretty unlikely. The other wolf. The other wolf. The other wolf. He was wrong. He was wrong. 50-50 odds in motion. Guys, it's tails this time. Thank you. Fucking hell, that took too long. Oh! Well, I tell you what, guys. It has been a great convention. I stayed out way too late. Inside you is some organs, no wolves. I don't know if there's any organs left, man. I, 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 I've I, stayed out late and, and drank more than I care to admit. And sang karaoke all the time. Really, like, it has been... It's been a, it's been a good... It's been an interesting trip, you know? Been a very interesting, very interesting trip. No organs, just wolves. I, I, mate, nothing but beasts inside of me right now. Yeah, go sleep, girl. It is two p.m. Uh, and I kind of do want to hang out with some people though. Wait, hold on. Cool. Just sleep is not that deep. Yeah, but there's people that I don't. They're, they're, everyone's leaving Vegas either today, or like like either they've already left or they're leaving later. So I kind of want to see the people I've not managed to see. You know what I mean? Certain people I didn't get to see properly. No sleep in Vegas, only party. No, you should sleep. I will, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Um. But yeah. 
What's this? Ah. Ah. Uh. When you get home, I'm leaving so late. Everyone's already left. I kind of figured people would stay longer. I don't leave to the 26th. The 23rd. I got people to see today, but I think everyone else, I think everyone leaves tomorrow, pretty much. Like, everyone will be gone by tomorrow. And I've just got two extra days in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't want to be in Vegas by myself. Some people have been trying to convince me to go to LA for the last couple of days and just fly home from there. Um, which is tempting. But I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do that. A few more days gambling. If, if I ever gamble by myself, it's over. Like, I, I need you guys to put me down. Like, gambling alone. Two days to search for Whimsical Trinsic. Another interesting find. To be fair, I do have a couple of jobs. I want to get all the... All my... Um, well, I've got... A, vi a video I'm working on right now, the, the, the next video that comes out, you know. We're not gonna put you down. Oh. He's got that dog in him, it needs to be euthanized. <laughs> He's got that XL bully in him. You know, the UK will have it sorted. Um. <laughs> put you down. Why is I so shocked by put you down? Um. I tell you what, you know what it is about Vegas? You know, I'm happy to leave. It's so dry here. My lips have been on fire. My lips are so dry the whole time. I, I bought some chapstick. I don't think it's helping. Like, I, it's so fucking dry. And like, I realized as I've been speaking to people, their lips are just, I, I just, like, I, I've been kind of like, because mine is a dry, I've been like, no, like whenever I'm talking to someone, I'm just gonna have a quick, like, they got dry lips. Everyone's got dry lips, man. Everyone here has got dry fucking lips. I live in an area where it's insanely humid. Like, look, I'm not a big fan of extremely humid either, but this is way too dry. Way too dry. To make you purchase Fiji water. Maybe. It's almost like it's a desert, I know, but it's not right. I drank so much water yesterday at the festival. I didn't drink a drop of alcohol at the festival. I just kept by... You know that water, Liquid Death? Kiki, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. You know that uh, water brand, Liquid Death? That like makes you, um, it, it, I, I've al I always assumed it was some sort of alcohol. And I ordered uh, liquid, de why is everyone saying that was such a nice noise? What, what noise? What noise were you talking about? Water sound? Well, the sound of me drinking water. What is liquid death? Liquid death is just water, but it's like canned in a can that looks like some sort of like beer or something. Uh, and the marketing idea, the, the guy who made it by the way, he's like a bit fucking billionaire now. Cause it went so well. He was just a normal ass dude and he was like, I feel like they should make water cool. It would probably sell better. So he made water cool. He put it in like a cool can and called it liquid death. Um, and it's like, kill your thirst. You know, and it, yeah, it, it, and it sold incredibly. You know, but yeah, at, like every festival is just the the go to water. Oh, I'm very tired. I I think I'm out of stories. You know, chat. I don't think I've got anything more for you. Festival yesterday was great. Seeing all the bands play, seeing Green Day was actually pretty cool. I've got how many Green Day songs I actually know. Um, that was fun. Meeting the Water Parks boys. Very lovely. I, I would like to hang out with them again. Um, always a pleasure to see Five Sus too. What bands are there? So many. Like, beyond. I, you know what I missed that I wish I saw? The band that did the, What's new Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. Uh, were there. And I think they performed that. But I only caught the back end of their set. I was so annoyed. Because I didn't catch that. And I'm like, imagine. Simple plan. Like, um. Uh, I, I wish I'd seen that. That would that would have been like a dream come true because that was like my favorite show growing up. And that intro was so hard. What's your Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. Did you see Sum 41? I did. I remember that one. I remember them coming on. Ugh. Gonna solve that mystery. That is what they say. We're gonna solve that mystery. 
It's the best intro they've done. You've been bad at following so many simple plans this TwitchCon. Wait, I think what it is, is because I've been dra- I, I, I'll be like, sup I, I'll be like, no one will warn me of the plans, other plans. And I'm like, oh, do you want to do this? And it sounds great and I want to do it. But then I'll end up staying up too late and being too tired to do my plans. But like, the dryness of Vegas is getting to him. Yeah. They've changed it and for the worse. The Scooby-Doo intro, I know, was terrible. Mm. It's your favorite song. Um, I never know what to say for this. What was the last thing I added to my... You know what? My brother on holiday played Somewhere in Brooklyn by Bruno Mars. I'm enjoying that. But I've been listening to Dakiti by Bad Bunny a lot today. Um... And now, fantasized by Eric Doe is playing. My, I was just looking at Spotify and then this. I mean, it's a good song. I really do like fantasize. It's probably Eric's best song. I know it's not Eric Doe, by the way. I know, I know it's technically Eric D O A, but Eric Doe, that's what I'm calling him. Copyright strike man has come. What? No! An anonymous gifter. Thank you for the anonymous gift. Um, I think the Fiji's getting to your head. I think the lack of sleep is actually getting to my head. I genuinely feel exhausted. Um, I think I'm going to call it before I, I like completely lose my mind. I, I know it's only been a short stream. I know it's only been an hour again. Um, I know the, the last few streams have already been short, but um, TwitchCon is over. The, the mad staying out every fucking night parties that there has been every night are now over. I had a lot of fun but I actually need to catch up on sleep, or I think I could die. Um, I, I mean, I was already jet lagged coming in and I've just not really slept. Um, but I had a great time. I, like, I'm really glad I, I went to everything and did everything I did um, because I, oh, there's just so many great stories, like so many great stories. Like j just, I, I still find it mad that like meeting Otto from water parks, like fucking years, I've had pictures of him tweeted at me. And like, I don't know whether he'd seen them before. I, know, I think he's off the internet, but I don't know whether, I think maybe Austin had acknowledged it before. Like, you know, just to randomly, just like randomly run into him by, by sheer coincidence, just happen to be same place, same time, um, is like so mad. Like I just never was someone I thought I'd run into just a face from the internet. Uh, yeah, it was really weird. It was like really weird coincidence. And, and everyone was so into the bit. Like, as we were leaving, as we were parting ways with them, me, Cal, and Mitch went to go one way, and the boys went to go another. And then Cal turned around and went, like, looked at Otto and went, Jack, wrong way. So he ran over. And then those guys went, Otto, Otto, like, Otto. So we swapped. And it was just so, like, it was, it was such a dumb bit. But I was just, I was like, it's funny that everyone's game. Also, somewhere out there that I don't have, I'm hoping, maybe Mitch put... I got tagged in Mitch's story. I'm hoping she's posted it. She has. She has. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna put it on my story as well. Callum in the VIP section of this festival during Green Day started a mosh pit. Like he was just like, now's the time. It's now or never. And Callum CPK started like the the this like f really big mosh pit. So there's a video of us all all in a mosh pit, which is very funny. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. I'll, re I'll repost it in a minute anyway. Hold on. Okay, right. Okay. No. That was fun. Uh, it was like a really, just really good. I was literally going to go to the festival for five stops and leave, and we stayed there till midnight. It was such a funny, like, genuinely such a good day. Genuinely such a good day. You're going crazy? I was feeling crazy and had a Oh also, we've been stood still pretty much. Like just like kind of like you know, moving a bit, but like stood on on the spot. Like not really having walked around much for like we were at the festival for like 10, 11 hours. My legs were so stiff from not having moved that the opportunity to jump around and run a little bit was so, so fucking worth it. <laughs> like I needed it so badly. So um, it was it was a necessity at that point. My legs, like my feet and my legs hurt so bad by that point. Um, you know, that I was like, like we were at the festival for eleven hours, and we just we, we we once we got our spot, we kept it. 
But yeah, I, I needed that movement, man. I needed it. Anyway. That is genuinely all, all that I have for you. If you are new, feel free to follow. Uh, for the last few subs, I don't think I managed to get around to thanking. Um, let me quickly see um, what your names are. So sorry about the table. If you don't mind me asking, what was your favorite song that Waterparks played? I don't remember. I didn't know any of the names of the songs. This is the problem. They just kind of played their set list. I don't know the names, um, but I. I'm gonna go see them again, so I'll I'll know I'll I'll do my research and let you know when I go see them. Have you listened to Austin's podcast? No, I I, I didn't know the guy. I, I never like I just met them, you know. Um, uh, Sab Breadcat, thank you for the tier one. Uh, Lin Lindsay, thank you for the tier one. Ellie, thank you for the three pounds. Don't feel too bad about the table. You don't have to donate. Thank you for the three pound, but uh, you know you don't have to. It, I I it's my fault. I was I, well, I didn't really. Do it on purpose, but you know, I should have been more careful. This is what I get for being so sleep deprived. Um, sup, I'm Dragons. Thank you for the Prime. Uh, can't think of a good message and can't stay long. I watch the VOD later. Have a good stream. Thank you for the 15 months. Uh, Dick Balls, thank you for the 100 bits again. Uh, Sano Sanoi? Uh, Sa I don't know how to say your name, but thank you very much um, for the eight months. Um, Kikit, thank you for the uh, £2.98. Uh, it's your birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Neil Glow, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, thank you for uh, helping with the table fund. Amaril, thank you for the uh, gift of sub. Pebbles, thank you for the pound. Uh, so you've seen them twice now. What was your favorite five sauce song to hear live? Mmm. Probably Youngblood. Which is like the most generic answer. But it's a really good song. Like, it's also like a bit nostalgic to me. Because like I, 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 when I was younger, like when I was like, a, I don't remember. When did Youngblood come out? Oh, no, uh, 2018. 2018, I was 16. And I just, oh, 2016, wait, is it 2016? The album's 2018. 2016 is the single, which is, so I was, what, 14? And I just remember it being played on the radio. And I remember, thinking, like, quite liking it. So uh, that's probably my favorite. Um, that's probably my favorite one to hear from those guys. Um... Uh, what well, come to the UK and EU in a bit of a week? We're going to any of the shows. My plan is to go to the shows. Yes, they 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 they, they invited me to to go to the show if I wanted or any any of the shows. Um, which fucking very kind by the way. Thank you. Um, so uh, yes, if you will be there, I might see you there because I will probably I'll probably head along uh, if I've got time. I'd like I love going to concerts. Uh, it's my birthday, but here's to the glass repair fund. Happy birthday! Thank you very much. Uh, your pound is greatly appreciated. Uh, Pico bit, thank you for the 21 months. Do you ever try to stand up at an open mic? Uh, I had never. I want to at one point, but I need to like write a little routine. Like you can't just get on a mic. Like you know when it's in front of like our like my audience, like you guys. Like I can get I can get on a mic and just kind of riff jokes because there's you have a familiarity with me that you kind of get my humor and like you know we're like a bunch of strangers in a room. It's hard just to like go in with nothing. Um, yeah, Looney Lou, thank you for the 24 months. Melanie EMP, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, there's a haunted museum in Vegas that you might like. I've heard about that. I might go to that if I don't do the ghost video. Uh, production guy. I actually might do that by myself, like if I'm here by myself. That sounds quite fun. Production guy 48, thank you for the prime. Glitch in the Matrix, thank you for the raid. Uh, Corbett, thank you for the 200 uh, bits to help with the uh, table fund. Uh, Phoenix the Fire, thank you for the three. Uh, Phoenix One Fire, sorry. Phoenix the Fire, is that another name? Is that someone else in chat? Whatever. Thank you for the three months. And, uh, um, um, car, oh, oh, um, Icarus, I can't read. Thank you for the, uh, pound. Someone showed me the clip of you showing the Amiga paper I gave you. Fully thought you were going to toss it immediately after getting it. I don't toss anything. I keep every, I genuinely, I have a box and I have everything I've ever been given. I have everything. Absolutely everything. Um, so, you know, don't ever stress about me having thrown it away. Um... Eventually, I might have to start finding a new place to put things because the box is getting full, and it means that like drawings get creased. I find, and I don't want I, I want them to stay in good condition. I've got a couple that have been like permanently creased, which is a bit annoying. Um, but um, yeah. Anyway, Amiga, it's uh, oh, I just put it back in the box. Can I? So it's, it's a meme of forever. 
Might be. Oh no, I found it again. Someone printed out a meme. But there you are. There you are. Anyway, guys, I am going to leave. I'm going to show you. Huh. All right, I definitely need to watch the Sam and Colby Conjuring video. Uh, it, Sam just text and was like, this shit is unlike anything we've seen before. No rush, but I'd love if you watch this. That That's crazy that like, I'm like, if it's that crazy that they've like, that's wild. That's wild. All right, we'll watch it next stream. We'll watch it next stream. If, if Sam, if Sam has like messaged me being like, watch this video, we probably should, we probably should watch the video. That is wild. Sam in chat. I don't think so. He messaged it into a group chat, so I think it's aimed at all of us, but like... I'm really... I'm very intrigued. I'm very... In now he said that, very intrigued. I'm way too tired to do it today. I would pass out. I'd, I'd fall asleep watching it. Um, I'm so fucking tired. But... I do wanna... I do wanna watch that. I'll show you one more thing before I go. Because I mentioned printing off memes. I thought there was one thing that I thought was absolutely weirder. Green Day ended their gig with the drummer trashing his drum set and then setting it on fire. And then as it burns, I shit you not, I, I, I'm so serious. You know that meme where like it's like a little Elmo and he's like this and there's fire behind him? Green Day, like how fucking old the Green Day, had that meme behind them as, as their, his drum kit burns. Which I thought... Hold on. What a weird, what a strange, like, a Green Day gig. I just thought I was so weird. Um, but yeah, weird that. Waste of perfectly good symbols. Waste. The, the guy, the drummer, I, this is obviously his thing. After every song, he'd throw his drumsticks behind him, but he'd always pull out a new pair. I was like, that's kind of funny. And I'm like, and by the end of the show, it's like a two hour set. I'm like, how many fucking drumsticks must he have? Because he's like, so, so, like, he's throwing them every song and they did not take breaks. Like I, I watched Blink-182 and they would like chat for a bit between every song. Green Day was song after song. Like they did not stop the whole two hours, right? And he fucking does that after everything. And then the end of the show, right? He, he starts throwing drumsticks into the crowd and he's just throwing like fistfuls of drumsticks. I'm like, how many does he have? And then he grabs his bucket and he just put, like, he's just, like, I'm like, literally, I don't know how many, he must have had hundreds. Like, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. He was just lobbing drumsticks, right? And then he, and then right at the end, he gets the bucket and he does that and there's just a bunch of confetti in the bottom to, like, like, it like, looks like he's gonna pour more sticks as confetti, which is a nice little touch. Um, and they give away a guitar. They have like uh, one of the things they do in their gigs is they have someone on stage to help play one of the songs, like anyone who plays guitar. And then they gave them the guitar, which was real sweet because the guy was only like seventeen and they had up. He was really talented too. Um, but yeah, seriously, like fucking madness. Anyway, I'm fucking exhausted. I'm actually gonna shut up yapping and go to sleep. Um, I'm so tired. Either way. Uh, any switch point socials in the chat if you are new feel free to follow. I'll try and be live um, If I'm not like I, I might Genuinely just take a bit of a rest day tomorrow because I'm so chattered, uh, but I'll go live the day after if uh, If not, I think is the plan. I, I, I'll let you guys know follow Well one obviously there's stories on Twitch now So I'll post on my fucking Twitch story I guess but also you can follow me on Jack Manifold 2 uh, Jack Manifold TWO on Twitter. Oh, that is my second up Twitter. I usually use it for updates. You can go follow that um but as for socials is the link to everything else. They're all Jack Manifold TV. That's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and my Discord at Discord.gg slash Jack Manifold TV. We've been talking about the ghosts. If you enjoyed Sam and Colby's new video uh, that I will be watching next stream, then go check out my newest video with the Xbox One in the chat because I went ghost hunting as well. Maybe not as crazy, but it's my first time ever doing it by myself uh, properly. And it was, well, not by myself. I was with Tubbo, but like without someone there who knows more than me. And uh, it was a bit scary. So uh, give that a watch and go subscribe because the, uh, 
the ja Japan, I can't say Japan, this is how tight, I can't even say Japan. Japan videos will be coming out very, very soon. They're already, like, I've already got the first draft. That's one of the things I need to do, I need to watch the draft a bit. So uh, anyway, God, I look tired. I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, chill out. I will see you all. Um, when, when will I see you all? Oh, like either tomorrow or the day after, probably. Let's look for someone to raid. Got to do that. People are back from TwitchCon now. There's probably people streaming. Uh, who's live? Who's live? Who's live? Uh, soldier Boy. You always raid so old Soldier Boy. Uh, leveling up with Soldier... Level up with Soldier Boy. Gaming and rhymes. Should we raid, uh, people want me to raid Katie? All right, we'll raid Katie. I was Phil back. I hope he had a good time. I was literally just in the exact place Phil was traveling with. Uh, that's where I went with my family. Phil is alive. Oh, he is alive. Never mind. Oh, we went on his, was his honeymoon? That's sweet. Uh, fair enough. We'll raid Katie. She's doing karaoke, and that has been my thing the whole trip. Uh, that's why I've got no voice left. Uh, so, where the fuck? I can't even find my fucking thing to do it. There we go. Raid Katie. I put... Katie go, go, Gubs. Katie Bug? Is that how you spell it? I can't even... Christ. Oh. No. Is that right now? Yes. Alright. That was bloody difficult. Go show Katie some love. Go say hi. I will see you all uh, whenever I see you. Um, this Twitch was great. Thank you if you uh, came to the meet and greet, by the way. Thank you for all the lovely gifts. It's lovely seeing you all. And um, yeah, I had the best time. Thank you for putting me in a position where I'm able to do this every year. It makes it like, I, I really have the best time hanging out with all these people. Like everyone around me is so talented and cool and I don't get to see them enough. So uh, you make it possible. Uh, especially because you cover me when I do things like break lamps. All right, the last donation I got was three pounds. Can we see your feet, Jack? I'm going to end. Uh, see you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>